Hey, Miracle Makers, as promised, I'm here. A little late, but I'm here. So I am so happy to talk about this, uh, this topic today with me and my Chewiner. You may have heard of the infamous Chewiner. This is him. This is Chewy. And so Chewy's one of my, one of my biggest allies. He's always with me. He follows me around everywhere I go. He sleeps with me, and much to my chagrin sometimes. You just can't shake him. So no matter what, he's right next to me. He wakes up. I've been doing Angel Power, Angel Power, which is the 21-day uh, invocation that we've been doing live every morning. He wakes up diligently at 5 a.m. with me, and he's tired, and he's a little cranky, but he does it anyways because he loves, he loves me that much. So we all need those kind of allies in our lives, don't we? I think we do. So thank you, Chewy, for making your star appearance today. So today we're going to be talking about um, about trusting trusting your your judgment, trusting your guidance, trusting yourself. Um, right now, yesterday was the new moon, by the way, and it was also a solar eclipse. Hi, Carla. Um, it was also a solar eclipse. So. Between the eclipse, so there's an uh, eclipse that happened yesterday, and there's going to be another eclipse to come, I think it's on the 16th. And so whenever there's two events like this, it is a prime time. This one in particular is a prime time to start making changes in your life that get you in alignment with awesomeness. So whatever those, those um, changes are that you're kind of daydreaming about and have been wanting for a really long time. Hi, hi, is it Eve from Vancouver? Hi. Um, so... So now's the ideal time where the universe and, and spirit and the angels and everybody is like can support us to be making these, these changes that we've been dreaming about for a long time. Some of these changes are really scary to make. Some of them are like relationship changes or career changes. And so, um, so when we're at a crossroads in life and, and, and the getting feels really big, like it feels like big decisions are being made. Um, it can be really stressful and it's so easy to trip yourself up and like making the right decision and and is this the right thing for me? Oh shit, especially when you're really about to jump off the cliff, right? Like right when you're right before you're about to succeed, you you know, you want to like back out and go, okay, wait, 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 am I sure? Am I sure? Can I pull this off? And so um, I'll give you an, an example of that. Um, uh, it was the first time I, I used to work in a mental health clinic and it was, the, and after that I was guided to leave that place and open up my own standalone office. And I was really nervous about it. And what really, what took me so long, Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Amy, yo, from Ireland. <laughs> and so I love, I love these live casts mostly because I love partying. I need, you guys are like my muses. I can't just do this on my own. Hey, Vivian, I saw you joined. What up, girl? Okay, so, guys, so distracting, right? Um, so, uh, anyways, hey, Vivian, this is my dog, Chewy. Okay, so, so I was nervous about getting my own office because I wasn't sure um, if I was ready for that. And so what was tripping me up is, hey, Heidi, um, <laughs> what was tripping me, tripping me up is, is, uh, is that, I, knew, I wanted to find the perfect spot because I knew that that you know ha having your first office that's a big deal and you want to get a prime location right and make sure it's like visible and you know and marketing and business are like location 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 and so it took me months and I was going back and forth it's like should it be should it be this city should it be this city what's the perfect place for me should it be close to home should it be in better hubs and I noticed that I was just getting sucked into this right and wrong. And I would, of course, I lean heavily on my divine influence, right? On my posse. And so, <laughs> sorry, I just saw uh, Vivian said hello to my dog. Awesome. Thank you. He appreciates the respect, Vivian. And so I was making myself crazy and, and I was pulling cards. You know, I, I, I lean heavily on divine guidance, uh, especially these days. I'm consulting all day long, especially about big life moves. But whatever cards I pulled were like unclear. And it always kept on pointing to essentially make the decision. And I'm like, I know, but what's the best decision, angels? Come on, don't hold out on me. You get me clear guidance for a lot of other shit. So now's a good time because I cannot be doing this dance. And so, so hi, Karen. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes it's just time for you to make a damn choice. Sometimes it's time for you 
to step into your authority as the biggest authority of your life. Because in fact, it's your life. And so that was the message that I kept getting it over. As much as I didn't like it, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to make the wrong decision. Because I felt like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm getting into this lease and, and I hope I can afford it. And what if no business comes? And, and, uh, and so anyways, um, eventually there was a place that showed up and I felt connected to it. Uh, but it was so wrong. It was a, the wrong place for me. And how I knew that, <laughs> one of the keys, one of the clues that, that my intellect would have told me this is the wrong place is because it was upstairs from a head shop, right? Selling pipes, selling tobacco right downstairs, a bunch of stoners coming in and out. Like that would not, that's not what you would think would be your ideal office, right? And upstairs, it turned out that right next door, I thought it was like, oh, how beautiful. There's a massage and there's acupuncture up here and I'm, it's perfect for me because I'm doing intuitive work, therapy, psychotherapy, it's awesome. But it turned out the massage place was a massage parlor. As in, they're giving sexual favors to their clients, right? And so you would think that that would be a horrible place for me to go. But what ended up happening is that I just could not find another place. The price was right. And inside the office itself, it was awesome. Like, I just felt, I felt good in it. And so, so against, uh, against popular belief in location, 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 because what what psychotherapist who believes in light and love and, and is teaching about angels is going to move her damn office right into the massage parlor and right above the, the, the head shop, right? But again, it just felt right. I liked the inside of the place. So guess what I did? I jumped in. I jumped in and I said, yes, I'm just going to do that. And when I did that, when I just finally decided, even though the location <laughs> really sucked, even though the location really sucked, I felt this burst of energy. Hey, Erica. Um, I felt this burst of energy. And it's like I had my life back. And so as soon as I moved in, I opened up my office. All this business started coming in. It was like, it was like this, this, force of, this force of nature just coming in and filling my spot so quickly. Not even I could catch up with it. And nobody cared that I was right next to a prostitution parlor. <laughs> or a head shop right downstairs. And, and so, um, you know, this is like what they teach you the opposite to do. So what I'm saying is, you know, do, do what you feel right about. Lead yourself to the biggest party, right? And so usually when you're at a crossroads, you have obviously more than one decision to make. And what they showed me was the biggest energetic drain of that, the biggest problem of having that problem is that you're not choosing anything. And stagnation is what kills your fire. So I was going months like, okay, where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? And I chose quite literally, quite possibly the worst space that I saw. But the second I did that, I got all this rush of energy. And so my message and the angel message that I got that I wanna want to convey to you today, that if you are stuck in doing that mental trap of right and wrong and what's best and oh no, um, choose anything. Choose any damn anything. Anything is better than sitting on your ass and doing nothing. Spirit can't support you when you're just sitting on your ass. And so I chose anything and the universe and spirit had my back, backed me up. They, they, didn't, they didn't judge me. They weren't stopping my clients for coming just because there's a maybe a wee bit of prostitution going on and maybe, maybe a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, paraphernalia downstairs. So... Um, that place was the bomb. I, I, there were so many miracles happened in that office, right? So many miracles. So many amazing classes went on. And had I stayed in that trap of like right and wrong and oh no, I would have been waiting another year. So, so that is my, that is my message to you. <laughs> yeah, Misty, I know most people didn't know. <laughs> Misty was, uh, you know, one of the one of the cool people who who were around uh, here and there partying with me. So <laughs> I hit it well. I hit it well. So um, <laughs> my bad, Misty. Um, so <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. So, anyways, let me just make sure you got that the stagnation. 
that false thing that you're doing about, oh, I have to make the right choice. There's no such thing as the right choice. Any choice is the right choice because guess what happens? Once you make that choice, if you don't like the outcome, then you do little shimmies, little shifts. You just do a little mini change left and right. So, um, so when rocket ships, let's think about rocket ships. When rocket ships take off to go, let's say, um, let's say they're sending, sending uh, a satellite out to go check out Mars. They give it this big initial boost, like boom, they set the course. But often when they get up there, the course is not perfect. So they do little shimmies, little pushes, like boom. And one little minute shift can create massive change in, in the right direction. And so they don't want us to get caught up in right and wrong and oh no, we're all going to die if we make the wrong decision. They don't want us to do that. They want us to make any old decision. So right now, the time is right. And so if you have some ideas percolating about certain changes that you want to make, please do. Please make them. Stop, stop the game of stagnation. It helps nobody. And you, the only way for you to learn how to trust yourself and to trust the universe and trust the angels and the guidance that you're getting is for you, is for you to just jump in. It's called a leap of faith, people. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. And also something I want to say about two choices. If you have two choices that you want to make, you want to make sure to choose the choice, choose the path that's going to lead you to the biggest awesomeness, the biggest party. So lean towards the, the most awesome option, the one that excites your body when you think about it more. It may freak you out, right? It may freak you out because you, you might be sure you're going to fail and it's, gonna, it's not going to work out. But don't listen to that voice. Listen to the excitement and keep going. So yeah, you can have a flourishing practice upstairs from a head shop and right next door to a <laughs> prostitution um, establishment. Establishment, yes you can. Miracles are real, I told you people, miracles are real. And so get right with yourself. Get right with yourself. Get in alignment with your angels. Ask them to support you in this change. Right now is the time. And so be bold and make astounding positive risks in your life and and let the angels show you let spirit show you how supported you are along the way oh hi Carmela hi Vanessa okay so so yeah if you're doing the dance of you know trying to figure out what's right what's wrong oh no um uh I feel for you and I do the dance sometimes, but I, I tend to dive right in. I get a lot of stuff done because nowadays I just dive in. And so I would, um, I would highly recommend that you sit with yourself, you sit with your angels and you ask which of these options is in my highest and best good and you feel into your body, but don't expect them to be giving you the big ass answer sometimes because sometimes it really is up to you. And sometimes it's just like, you're going to be supported whichever way you choose. Free will is free will. Choose some shit. We will back your ass up. Now, that is not how angels talk, by the way. That's my, <laughs> my interpretation. <laughs> That's my, my special Karen filter for angel talk. That's not really what you're going to hear. It's not all cussing, right? There's no cussing, actually. Okay, so um, uh, also, if you guys want some more clarity, um, some of you have may heard about my Angel Alchemy Academy, which is where uh, it's like an academy where I train people how to talk to angels or how to how to talk to angels for other people, how to give angel messages and how to connect with their angels and how to heal other people. And so it's a six month training. And so I have graduates that are ready to work for you guys and they're doing freaking incredible work. People are reporting miracles from these people left and right. And so, um, so they're highly trained. And if you want some clarity and you want the angels to tell you to, to, to support, you know, to, to give you the validation that you need, whatever that may be, these are highly intuitive, highly clairvoyant, highly empathic uh, mediums, and they're ready to just bring the light through. So if you are at a point where you want some super deeper extra clarity and you just want validation that you're on the right path, please um, feel free to check out, um, check out my pra our, our practitioner page. Uh, it's at www.aaareadings.com, and I'll try and um, I'll I'll, I'll uh, put put the website on this later on this thread later. Um, so aaareadings.com, and so um, our angel alchemists are so freaking awesome. I want you to meet them. Okay, so um, all right, guys. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, and party, 
make some badass choices um, and, 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 and just, just know it's going to work out. Just cross your fingers and hope the universe comes behind you. But yes, now until the 16th is high time. Um, you're going to start seeing some universal support when you start making those shifts. You're going to start getting validation. Synchronicities are, will rise over this next um, few weeks. So, so rock that shit. Okay, love you guys. So good to see everybody here today. Hi, Car uh, Carmilla. And is it, I'm, you know, is it Gedgy Jade? Gigi Jade, Gigi Jade, I've always wondered how to say your name out loud, okay, so Gigi Jade, hi woman, been rocking with you on Angel Power, okay guys, we'll chat soon, alright, adios.